Hey GearFax friends, I thought I'd do a part 2 video of the Software Toolworks Miracle Keyboard. As discussed before, it's not a miracle, but some viewers have pointed out there's a whole lot of sounds in here that I didn't demonstrate last time. It's quite simple. You just hold down the synthesizer button, press up and down on the volume control, and you'll see that the flashing LED rises up and down. Each one of these LEDs represents a whole new set of six sounds, and some of them are actually pretty cool. Incidentally, this has nice touch-sensitive keys. The feel of the keys is good and the velocity response is good as well. So it's taking us on a bit of a tour of 80s FM sorts of sounds now. Pretty harsh. See, a lot of the time I'm really not sure what's going on here. Another nice harsh one. Okay, so I think we're getting an idea of how this system works. We go through the five basic sounds, press synthesizer and it takes us back to number one. It doesn't seem to be layered. That sounds familiar, I think we've been here before. Let's move up to the next set. Oh, now we have a split sound. All right, next bank. Okay, so we have a few splits now. Okay, drum set. Some good sounds there. Another drum kit. Pretty similar to the last one. I like these chromatic drum sounds. Electronic violin.
All right, we going in circles. Kind of nice guitar sound there. Oh, what was that? Oh, sound effects. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, boy. Oh, that was getting harsh towards the top end. What's next? All right, some sort of bass guitar. Back to the drums. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to keep going through and we'll just keep on discovering things. More sound effects. And back to our default drum kit. Well, that was an interesting little journey. I'll tell you what though, if you just want a nice feeling 49 key keyboard that has quick access to simple sounds, once you understand that operating system, but quick access anyway to six very basic sounds, I think this is a really good option. The speakers are nice and bright and loud. I guess when it comes to the sound, it's in the eye of the beholder. Some people might really hate those kind of raspy sounds, and I would describe them as raspy. You're not going to get a nice, clear, whirly piano or a beautiful harpsichord sound out of this. It's all pretty rough-edged, and some people like it that way, myself included. Would you like some delay with that? Let's try a bit of an experiment. So obviously the delay is coming from the effects unit there. A keyboard with such simple methodology as this isn't going to have effects of its own, but let's have a listen to a few more sounds. We did have a look at the back in my last demo of the Miracle Keyboard, but just for the sake of continuity, I'll tell you again that it's got a kind of a master on-off switch here, which is pretty cool. 
left and right stereo out. This is an SCSI port for hooking up to computers the old way, and it's got MIDI in and out. So it's a reasonably complete kit, and like I said, it's all about simplicity. There's not much to this keyboard, and for some people, that's the right way to go. Okay, thanks for watching Gear Facts, friends. Not a miracle, like I said, but certainly something worth looking at, and you can't beat that simplicity. I don't think I've ever seen a keyboard that was so simple and effective in doing what it does. So, thanks for watching Gear Facts. Please like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.